my dear student i welcome you from my class today i am going to take an english second paper class for the students of class 9 and 10 my dear students in the previous class i discussed the basic rules of tag question today i will discuss five more rules of tag question and this is going to be the second part of my discussion about tag question so i discussed five rules and today i will discuss more five rules and i will start from number six number six this is this is about few few little hardly scarcely seldom rarely these words give us negative meaning so if you see any sentence with few little hardly scarcely or seldom this sentence you will regard this sentence as negative sentence and the tag will be positive look at the example he hardly comes here so the tag question will be does he once again i am giving you another example he has few friends so what will be the tag question has he so i think you have understood I am going to give you some examples of rules number seven. Rule seven sometimes you will get sentences with the my dear student. I am going to discuss the rules number seven helping verb in the short form sometimes you see sentences with helping verb in the short form like we we apostrophe comma d go there so here d is confusing many students fail to understand what d indicates many students think that d is the short form of would and some students think that d is the short form of had so which one is correct so if you look at the if you look at the main verb after d if the main verb is in the present form then this d is the short form of would because would is a model verb and after model we need to use present form of the main verb 
and look at the second example she used to be comma d cooked rice so here after d we get the verb cook in the past participle form so this d is the short form of had i think the point is clear so she used to be comma d cooked rice so that means she had cooked rice so the tag will be had not she so i think you have got a clear idea about the helping verb in the short form then you will look at the pronoun or you will look at the subject after of so the so the tag question will follow the subject after of look at the example either of you will come so the tag will be want you so you will look at the subject after of now question number now rule number 9 टू प्लस भार्व टू प्लस भार्व टू प्लस भार्व दिस भार्व उल बी इन द प्रेजेंट फॉर्म सो टू प्लस भार्व इज कॉल्ड इन्फिनिटिव लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल टू वर्क इन द मॉर्निंग इज गुड फॉर health so the so the tag question will be isn't it so if you see 2 plus verb so this 2 plus verb will be represented will be represented by it so it is the it will be the of subject of tag question because 2 plus verb indicates some kind of work which is regarded as as thing another example is to tell a lie is a great scene so tag will be isn't it isn't it now rule number 10 need use of need 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 is a word and this word can be used in two ways in the sentence we can use need as the main verb and sometimes we can also use need as the modal verb so look at the example he needs a pen so here needs needs is a main verb because there is no other helping verb so that question will be doesn't he but look at the second example he need not go there here need is the Model verb. 
because go is the main verb so you will use need in the tag question so need he in this way you can make tag questions so i have discussed five rules of tag question so i am now i am writing five sentences of five rules for your practice you can use it as homework number 1 he thinks little number 2 we would help them number 3 most of us read well at home number 4 to play cricket is interesting and number 5 reza need not come here so do this exercise or practice this exercise i think you are able to add the question to these five statements my dear students no more today thank you very much maintain rules of health don't go out without wearing mask so thank you